FIFO stands for first in, first out. LIFO stands for last in, first out. And then there's a third methodology known as FCO, which stands for average cost. That one will be quite easy because the conclusions for FCO will always be in the middle between FIFO and LIFO. So FIFO, first in, first out. Remember, first means the oldest unit, the first unit I bought or the first unit that was already in my warehouse is the one that I want to sell. So I'm going to sell my oldest units. So they're going to go to COGS, right? So the oldest units are going to go to COGS. The newest units will be kept in inventory. Now, very important, the examiner will typically assume inflationary environment. So that means that your oldest units are also your cheapest units and your newest units are also your most expensive units. So when you run a FIFO system, you will find that your COGS is lower because it keeps those oldest, cheapest units and your inventory is higher because it keeps those newest, more expensive units. That's relative to the other system, of course. The second system is LIFO. LIFO, as I said, stands for last in, first out. So the newest, most expensive units get kicked out into COGS. So that gives me the higher COGS figure assuming inflationary environment. But if I've kicked out the most recent units into the PL, then the oldest units have been kept in my inventory and the oldest units are the cheapest inventory. So LIFO will tend to give me a much lower inventory valuation relative to FIFO. And then FCO will simply take the dollars available for sale divided by the units available for sale to calculate an average cost. And then that average cost will be applied across the board, both for inventory and COGS. So the answers for both inventory and COGS under FCO will sit between the answers for FIFO and LIFO. 